One of the most fascinating unsolved mysteries in the past decade is the disappearance of the Bizen newlyweds. It is a case that leaves one with more questions than answers, but manages to fascinate many years later. But what actually happened to this pair? Did they really disappear? Were they abducted? In May 2016, an older man, who was the groom's father, reported a crime at the Bizen police station. The father told police that he had not heard from his son in several days. After discovering that the groom Kim Yoon Suk was married to an actress Cho Sung Hee, the police realized that the case was more complex than they thought. When the case was verified, the police sent officers to the couple's house. However, there was no answer at the door. This prompted the police to enter. They found the place to be quite neat and there didn't seem to be any trace of the couple leaving in a hurry. They found unopened grocery items, purchased by the bride a few days prior still on the table, and the groom's pet dog was left alone without food during this time. After leaving the apartment, the police visited the couple's workplaces to see if anyone had heard from them. When they questioned the hotel staff where the groom worked, as well as the bride's theatre colleagues, they discovered that neither had worked for four days. This led the police to revisit the couple's home. To complete a more thorough investigation, the home visit revealed that nothing was missing, except the couple's computers, phones, and passports. After noticing this, the police tried tracing the couple's steps until their disappearance. This led to some exciting developments. First, when reviewing the CCTV footage around the apartment, there was footage of both couples coming home, but None of the 21 cameras captured the team leaving the apartment complex. This was extremely odd, because even if the couple were to take the emergency staircase which didn't have a camera, they would have been captured on the camera in the apartment lobby. Eventually, the police began to think that the couple had been murdered and so, it was treated as a murder case. They began interviewing potential suspects and witnesses. One of the bride's colleagues reported, that she had called her to tell her that a previously existing illness had resurfaced and that she was going to the hospital. Another co-worker told the police that the groom had contacted them and informed them that the bride was too ill to take part in a rehearsal. These messages, which appeared out of nowhere, gave the police the idea to track the locations of the couple's mobile phones. Then, they discovered that the phone of the groom had been tracked to Bizen that the phone of the bride had been tracked back to Seoul. This was extremely strange because of the distance that separates the two cities. These phones have never been recovered. After many years of searching, the police have never found out what happened to this couple, despite a few new sources. It is impossible to prove that the information provided is connected to the couple. However, the most popular theory is that a groom's ex-lover is responsible. The police managed to uncover that this woman had contacted and made various threats against the bride and groom. She is the main suspect in committing a crime against them because, during the time of the couple's disappearance, she visited South Korea from Norway. However, she didn't tell a single relative or friend as she was in the country. She travelled off the radar and stayed in saunas while paying in cash. It didn't help that the woman also left South Korea three days after the investigations began. This led the police to involve Interpol in the case, with the hopes of extraditing the woman to Korea to face questioning. However, the woman took this up with the High Court in Norway, and the court ruled in her favor, thus resulting in a dead end for the police and leaving the case unsolved even to this day.